With the text completed, we are going to surround it with a border shape to determine the outer perimeter of our sign. Click on the Draw Rectangle tool and a workbox opens. Here you can choose square, radius, or even reverse radius corners for your rectangle. You can also determine the dimension of the radius. You can enter specific dimensions for your rectangle, or you can simply freehand it in the drawing area then add specific dimensions later. Click on the highlighted shape and you can adjust it freehand even after closing the box. Click on the Align Center button and the rectangle aligns to the centered text. Choosing the Draw Ellipse button works pretty much the same as the Draw a Rectangle button. You can choose your origin point you can enter the dimensions numerically or again freehand the shape in the drawing area and then fill in specific dimensions once you get it where you want it. Once again Clicking the Align Center will align the ellipse to the text that we've created. The design phase of our sign is complete, so click on the Switch to Toolpaths button to apply the cutting instructions.